Okay. The, the, the past, like, scene, it may have been a tad bit on the corny side, but especially with the Crystal Star music, the music known as the Crystal Star, it's one of the most touching scenes I've ever seen in any video game. I mean, sure, the whole, like, the hero's down and then everyone cheers him back on is done to death a bit, but it's always, like, especially in this game and Okami, it depends on, like, the setting and the music, and this game, it works so well, It's and it's probably the first one I've ever seen. It's, it's just one of the most, like, touching things I've ever seen in any video game, especially when you, um, go back to past levels, which the Crystal Stars were from, and then not only do they cheer you, but they cheer on your partner who, um, got, who you got with in that chapter as well. Like, seeing all these minor characters you met on your journey is just the most touching thing you could ever see. Like, one of the most touching things you could ever, not probably the most touching, there's probably thousands of others that I haven't experienced myself. But yeah, we have everything back. So, and, um, Panther has done his use since the Shadow Queen actually has some defense, I believe. So, I switched out to Bobbery. Because his bomb on Bass will hopefully, um... Because you need to get rid of these hands. Oh, I could, probably could have had Vivian out. But you need to get rid of these hands. Trust me. They are very powerful, and you want to kill them ASAP. So, with that... Like, I probably should have done Fire Jinxes, because I thought the hands had seven, not five. So, we're going to use Bob on Bass in order to, um, get rid of them. And we'll use Spring Jump. I'll probably screw this up since I'm not good at using Spring Jump on big enemies. But YOLO! Oh, yeah, I screwed up. I, could, I was so close to doing it. I'll try it again. Oh, shoot. Now we have uh, Floor Masters. Oh, God. Okay. So because she has one of those, like, temporary charge up things, we are going to bail the hell out of here. At least we have Vivian out now so we can, like... Oh, the hands have seven! Right. Yeah, this would do like 15 damage if you are not veiled. Trust me, this is very necessary to veil. Vivian, like most times, is ideal for this fight. Oh god, the hand. I did not. Oh god, the hands are gonna heal up the Shadow Queen a bit. At least she's only dumb enough to use one hand. Oh, great. Oh, she, has, oh, she just has defense. That's not a big deal. So, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Just keep swimming. Okay. We're going to... Let's see how a spring jump would do. I'm pretty sure it'd only do six damage. Since she has three defense. And that's only if I... Oh, got it. Yeah, six damage, bitch. Oh, by the way, in this... Don't, like, go all out in the first. Because you are guaranteed a bingo at the very beginning. It's kind of a bit weird. But, like, don't think you got lucky. Trust me. You are guaranteed a bingo. So you can get, like, two supernovas in, which is nice. So we'll, um... Oh, shit! No! Crap! Why did I screw that up? No, Vivian. Or at least she's burned, which is nice. But, yeah, now with our, uh, regenerated, uh... Now with our, um... Regenerated star power. We're gonna do we're gonna get in another supernova. It's so nice with these like um, with that automatic bingo You can get 30 damage in granted she heals which can make her a huge pain trust me This fight is no easy if I um lose I won't I'll be really mad at myself, but I won't be surprised Because that's why I am um, saving all my ultra streams in my earlier file because I need to save it for this fight Shoot, I'm gonna screw this up. I am not gonna get the 15. I am not gonna get the f oh snap I got the 15 when it went down there, I got scared a bit, but we got the 50, which is nice. See, she's not even under 100 HP yet. We've look our last highest thing with Gloomtail with 80. We have yet to face anything that high. We're gonna shade fist. I don't think it will do anything. Oh no, it did one, but at least it'll renew her burn, which is nice. And I couldn't get the appeal right. Oh well. Ouch! Oh snap! Thank you. Pretty lucky. Oh, that was close. This is care for stupid defenses. So I'm trying to figure out the best course of action. <laughs> why are these audience? Oh, it's just a coin. But why is the audience constantly? I guess this fight is just really exciting. Watching nothing just go in his let's playing finale is just the most exciting thing ever. 
So, because um, the hands are out and they have 8 HP and Fire Jinx can't do anything, anything we're going to use the turn to switch out to Bobbery and use bob on Bass in order to do 9 damage to... Oh, 8. Oh, the Shadow Queen is 2 defense. Gets doing something new every day. At least those hands are back. So, I don't want to waste um, Bobbery's Ball on Bass, and there's quite a bit of, of P, but we're going to do it anyways! Nah, I'm kidding. I haven't decided because I, didn't say, I was thinking of you. I, I couldn't make up my mind in my head. Ball on Bass or Fiery Jinx, but I think I'll go with Fiery Jinx it, since it leaves the leaves a burn, and that Shadow Queen is um, a high on defense. And, wait, this. Huh. I did not realize that. I'm pretty sure a Fiery Jinx burns, actually. Sweet shit, we're kind of low. Oh god, am I gonna die? Oh, I have a life shroom. See, this is why I saved all those life shrooms. I wish I'd gotten more, but look, I'm dead. Let's one life shroom down. <laughs> I should probably be careful next time. Oh, sweet. Oh my god, I was actually worried because I want to get rid of those hands. Because we have that invisibility for one turn coming in the most useful time. I think we'll swap out to Bobbery, and actually, you know, I'm just gonna keep Bobbery out, so I don't have to. We'll use Bob on Bass in order to get rid of everything. And next turn, during Mario's last invisibility turn, or I'm pretty sure this is her last invisibility, last invisibility turn. Why would the Shadow Queen attack me? She could have easily attacked Mario. Dumb Shadow Queen. Anyway, um, I know I said the Jelly Ultra would be useless. But I'm actually going to use it now because I'm low on HP and FP, so that might be nice. Kind of pushing my... Oh god, I'm, I'm so going to lose this fight. If I lose this fight, I'll be so mad. So now let's bob on burst. That gets rid of the hands. It sucks. So she gets rid... She, um... She brings back something each turn. Oh, great. So now we're gonna switch out to Vivian and we're gonna veil. Because we wanna avoid this. It does like 15 damage, as I said. Runs of taboos off waves. It looks similar as well, like like ultimate attacks. Ugh. Game like 14 how oh my god this is oh at least I got supernova back now that I just realized that let's supernova I did not realize I regenerated that back that's actually pretty useful sorry I'm being quiet I'm trying to concentrate on my tapping because I she this is pretty, pretty much undoing all that she's healed before I should really just keep, you know what, I'm going to keep Vivian out, like, not switch the, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll probably just use Mario to, it's probably better to just weaken the hands with Mario and then use Vivian to f -f -f finish them off. Like those undead hands, you know what I mean. Now we're going to Shade Fist, because there's no point on Fiery Jinxing with, um, not a second enemy out. Yeah! At least she's under, um, alright, now, uh, we finally have a chance. We're gonna use Spring Jump again. We've been so busy switching in and out stuff, but hopefully I don't screw this up. Ah, I screwed it up, of course I did. Now let's use the Piercing Fiery Jinx. God, I, have I mentioned how much I love Fiery Jinx? It's not like I've been constantly doing it throughout the Let's Play. What? That's OP. Ah, uh, she just poisoned Vivian. I don't need Vivian to die. She's been so useful, especially with her veil. But I don't want to waste a mushroom on her. But then again, I don't want the life stream. Ah, well. You know what? We're going to heal up Vivian. I should have kept that whack a bump out, but oh well. Here you go, Vivian. I might as well do something with Mario since, like, there's not. I, I could spring jump again, but I kind of fail with spring jump, clearly indicated. The partners are what's going to be the key to this fight, trust me. Like, the partner's various abilities, because the Shadow Queen puts you in different situations. And especially, um, the main three I use, Vivian, Bobbery, and, uh, 
pack meal. It'll be really helpful. So, um, now we're gonna spring jump again. Because we have nothing better to do. I probably could have used the jam and jelly, but I'd rather wait till I'm low and hopefully I don't screw this up. Ugh, screwed it up! Of course, I can't get- I got it right, like, once. Yes, I got a stylish. I actually need my star points to regenerate, because the supernova would do quite a bit of charm. So, so yeah, now I'm going to do something smart here. I'm going to go with Vivian first to use Veil. That way Mario has a turn after she does the thing. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. You know what, I'm not, not going to- I'm not, not going to be greedy. She put her hands are out. She can attack with the hands. Cause Vivian wasted. Oh, this is where like the, the um, jam and jelly would come in handy. Oh well. You know what? I'm gonna take out one hand. What? I could multi bounce. Shit! Ah! I shouldn't have. Oh, I missed with the hands. It's gonna take Vivian. Poor girl. I hope she gets cured of poison eventually, but I think poison's forever. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this turn with Mario to heal up with the jam and jelly. I wasted that multi bounce because I thought I could have done five damage to kill both hands. Uh, but I probably should have just done one so it's like less healing for her. Now we're gonna use fiery jinx in order to get rid of the hands because they've been a huge problem. And we're gonna stylish because Supernova will we'll come back soon. Because it came pretty quick last time. But no, it's not really coming back as quick anymore. I think we're gonna let Vivian die so like the live stream can bring her back. And then um yeah, and then like she won't be uh poisoned anymore. Hopefully I don't screw this up and I've been saying that every time but I've been constantly scroll Oh my god, I got it right! I got it right! I got it right! Give me my star points, bitches! I need that. And how we need six to do supernova. Okay, good. But we'll just use fiery jinx. Oh my god, I, I had a feeling I was gonna screw it up. At least I got the stylish. Oy. Oh, at least we're not confused. Thanks, pretty lucky. It's a good thing I have that badge. Oh my god, Mario's gonna die. Mario is going to die. I should really... Well, at least Vivian's dead. That's not really a good thing. What are you doing, Shy Guy? Oh, thanks. At least we have pretty lucky on, which is nice. Okay, so with Mario's turn, we're gonna Ultra Shroom up. Because we don't want him to die. Vivian's probably going to die again, though. Which can be a problem, because she'll waste our last um, life room. But I just have to be careful. But I have the life rooms mainly for the partners. Since if Mario dies, that's my fault B, for being stupid. But the partners is not something I can control. Yeah, Shadow Queen, we're beating you. Thanks to the Crystal Stars. It'll be useful here. Supernova. Hey, Vivian. Oh, no. Vivian's going to die now. Bye, Vivian. Oh, wait, no, never mind. So normally I'd have Mario heal Vivian at the time, since she's kind of in peril. But Vivian can't, um, def oh, wow, we have two life streams left, never mind. But Vivian can't actually, um, defeat the power hands by herself. So we're going to use, wait, how do I talk to that? Oh, I talk. Huh. Oh, thanks for the repel cape. No, I can't attack. I have to jump on the hands in order to uh, weaken them. So let's do that now. Repel the repel cape may actually be useful. Oh, wow. I did not realize that Mario's jumping can actually... So I think we'll use this turn to... um. Nah, we have two. No. Actually, yeah, we're going to use this turn to heal up Vivian. No, but we may need that for Mario. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I think we'll use the repel cape on Mario in order to make him invincible a bit. Yeah, now Mario's playing Limbo. Do I have Supernova back? That'd be nice. No, I don't have Supernova back. Oh, it's just a way to kill the hands while I'm waiting, but there, there's no way. So I think we'll just do some damage to the Shadow Queen. Hopefully I don't screw this up, and I've been saying that every time, but I always screw it up. Yes, I got it! 
Uh, Supernova would have been so good to like kill the hands because now they won't attack me when I get back. Oh, you. Oh, shit! I have to stop. Oh, no. Hopefully, the, the repel cape can. Oh, yeah, repel cape in action. Vivian. Okay, we have one more um, live stream back, which is nice. Ugh, now the audience is leaving us? How rude. Still don't have enough for Supernova. We're just charging that up. Alright, let's spring jump in order to, um... Is he honest? Now we use Fiery Jinx in order to get rid of the hands. B, X, B, B, X. You know, for the repel cape being in uh, action, oh no, it actually helped us dodge that one attack. We have enough for Supernova, that'd be so cool we could finish. Ah, uh, You know what, but it's kind of fitting to finish the Shadow Queen off with a Crystal Star since that's what we need to defeat her. And Earth Tremors are our very first one, so we're gonna do that. After being terrorized the entire game, hunting these, thing these things down for a treasure, only to find out it was a demon inside, which we knew about quite earlier. It's time for this who knew Mario out of all people could slay an ancient demon who sunk a city. But no, with the help of the Crystal Stars and everyone he's met throughout the journey, we're done.
Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. One of my favorite video games of all time because of, because of it. What's nothing just go without his rambling? Anyway, it's one of my favorite video games of all time because of its dynamic story, fascinating characters, great gameplay, amazing environments, and everything else. I'm assuming that's one of the shine sprites that Steven ever got. Anyway, it's just a parade of all the great characters in the uh, silhouettes. And as we see our journey, our, the boss fights appear as silhouettes too. So, um, quite honestly, I never expected to finish this project. I started it about two and a half years ago trying to do the game, but I abandoned it due to um, lack of uh, quality put into it, as well as uh, lack of motivation, and I also had technical problems which made me even less motivated. Granted, the lack of motivation was still a problem in this project, as I did end up taking a few breaks, but that was also because of uh, things going on in my life, such as getting my first job, as that's why there was a month hiatus a few weeks ago. I mean, like in like June, there was like a month hiatus, I believe. As well as also a few technical problems, and also lack of free time in order to keep consistent daily videos. Because I am not a YouTube partner, which is unfortunate, but also is not also does not really matter that much to me I mean the whole purpose why you do let's plays is to have fun right not to get money or pay fame I know I complain about that stuff a lot because it does bother well not the money but the fame but really I've done it, I've been doing this for months and that hasn't changed me from continuing and I plan to do even more let's plays despite the lack of fame despite the lack of um, recognition because it's still nice just to put all these videos and put them on YouTube because maybe one day some stranger can see and enjoy this because that's what I want I want people to I want to have fun with this and I want others to enjoy what I'm doing that way it's a mutual benefit right now I'm only enjoying what I'm doing so that's good enough to move on but if I got people to watch that'd be great too because then people would enjoy it as well another reason is um my dream is to become part of the YouTube community there's just I, I've, I'm a big fan of video games I'm a big fan of television I'm just a really nerdy person but I'm not that nerdy enough to like hang out with people I typically know and, like the type of people to just um, cosplay, go to anime conventions, and not make fan fiction. I'm not that type of person. I just like talking about my interests, and I feel the Let's Play community could do for what I what I uh, want. Also, there's um, so many people in there that I think are terrific people, and I want to talk to meet in real life. Not just as a fan, as a person, and I want to belong with them. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm just being realistic here, because um, you can't just force that to happen. You can't just like make videos, as I said. I don't just make videos for that reason, not just for my selfish reasons, but also, as I said earlier, so I don't expect the whole getting friends with all the Let's Players uh, dream to happen. It'd be nice, but I don't expect it. I also have my um, side channel going up um, at the same time called Akasash with Steven, and that's also a blast. Like Playing Galaxy 2 was a t is a ton of fun. And I really enjoy like messing around, and I hope that will also be put on you, like, be uh, recognized one day. But again, as I said, I don't expect that to happen. But other than that, it's still a ton of fun making videos, and I've been repeating myself a lot. But I hope I got the mission statement of this let's play clear. It's not just a, it's not just a let's play, but also a let's praise. I don't just play games that joke around and mess around. I mean, I granted that's what people like, but I also like expressing my opinion as a reviewer. I like going, but I don't just like covering a game, talking about general topics. I want to go through it in full detail, expressing what's so good and what's so bad, because that's what I value in Let's Play. Like my favorite Chugga Conroy Let's Plays aren't the ones where like he jokes around, makes sexual jokes and puns and stuff. My favorite ones are the ones like Okami did and. Um, Super Mario 64 DS, where he goes in detail about the good things and the bad things, and all the extensive knowledge about it. That is what I value in watching a video game. Not just to joke around, because I can just do that by myself or with friends, but to see a person's opinion of it while playing the game. And that is what I went for in this project. It's not what people like, but it's what I want to provide to the community, because I don't feel myself that funny. But with that aside, the credits are done.
See you guys for my next two Let's Plays, Pokemon Emerald and Mega Man 9. See you guys then.